wrote the Darling Family? Darling Family was completely written. How, what, was, what inspired that? That was inspired by things that were going on with many of my friends at the time, which had to do with the decision whether or not to have kids. Mm -hmm. And it was also inspired by affairs. Mm -hmm. What happens when people are not really committed, particularly, but they sleep with each other and they go out for about six weeks and, you know, and they break up and mm -hmm. with whatever consequences. And so it was very much about a kind of expose of people after 30 who, mm -hmm. are, who are living a child's life. Mm -hmm. And heaven above, heaven below is those same two people meet 20 years later. Oh, right. okay. Or 25 years, I'm not quite sure what it is. So that's mm -hmm. the next play that's coming up. And those were written, that's all written, written. No mm -hmm. improvisation involved. Let's talk about your process. So when you're sitting down just doing the writing writing, what's your approach to outlining? What's my what? Your approach to outlining. Outlining? Do you outline? What? Some people outline. They outline? Yes. There's one play I'm thinking of now. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I can only think of it as an outline. First time ever. Really? I plunge in and I do it. You know, mm. I pl and many people do. I plunge mm -hmm. in and I do it and I figure out the structure later. Right. But with this play, I can only think of it in terms of these three sections. Right. And within the three sections to, 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 to fill it in. Mm -hmm. And I've never thought that way before. It's never, it's never been natural. So I really think that as, as, as each of my plays are very different, mm -hmm. you know, that I don't think there's much understanding of what pulls, holds them together. Right. You know, like what are the ones that have famous people and then written the ones that don't have famous people? And what the right. one person show has got to do with it? You know, I don't think there's much understanding of any connective tissue between these. Right. But one thing would be, I don't outline. <laughs> right? And do you get writer's block? And if you do, what do you, how do you deal with it? You just have to use perspiration. Okay. Which I'm not doing right now. I'm waiting. <laughs> but I'm like, you're like a cat, you know? You sort of like, you know you have the work over there. And you know when mm -hmm. cats used to have the bowl, sometimes they just mm -hmm. go, oh, I don't care about that bowl. And mm -hmm. they go away, and they look at it, and then they go and sniff something, and then they go and eat a little bit, and they don't. <laughs> it, to me, it's like that. I'm, I'm circling the bowl at the moment okay. of work that I have to do. Okay. Rewriting is one thing, but to plunge into another play, you know, I'm just... Like, I can't believe I'm going to do it again. Right. I can't believe it. Why do you say that? Because I know what it's going to take. Yeah. Yeah. I know what it's going to take. And so the beginning of it may be the most interesting part when you're figuring it out. Mm -hmm. But I know that down the road is the writing and oh. the rewriting and the finding of the producer. and the, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, the decision right now to start another play is, you know, because I do, do have my Boxo novel. Mm -hmm. And I do want to write some, pr some prose about the experience of having cancer, which is just this last while, mm -hmm. and what that has been like, the strangeness of it, and also mm -hmm. the, um, the irritability of it, and all the, the culture, cancer culture. Right. But I don't think that's a play. So there's other st stuff that I want to do. But I've learned through all of this to have the creativity come out in this way. Mm -hmm. which is a play yeah. and I've never done smart things I've learned how to write film scripts or television scripts or any of those things I seem to need to mm -hmm. you know to be uh, uh, provocative against so many things mm -hmm. not provocative against but resistant or I don't know what the word is well there's so many compromises you'd have to make in film you I just have to I won't make any I don't make any of them mm -hmm. you know I just mm -hmm. won't do it and mm -hmm. and it's just the strangest the strangest life. I just learned that some of the mechanism that I'm working with will not, won't adhere to certain kinds of writing. Mm -hmm. So then it makes sense for me to write another play, except, oh, <laughs> you know. Oh. And what's the joy? Like, so we know it's fun at the beginning, and we know it's fun yes. at the end. If it works, it's fun at the end. Well, if it doesn't, true, yeah. it shoots yourself time. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's because it is, it has become natural, but I mean, if I was able to say to that young girl that got kicked out of theater school, if I was able to say I'd be here with these people mm -hmm. around talking to me about this life that I've had, I would go, you're kidding. Yeah. 
really? Yeah. I get to do that? Yeah, yeah. I get to have these experiences? I get to have people, you know? Yeah. I'm going to get make a living? I'll get to do that? Mm -hmm. I would be over the moon. And I think sometimes I've actually maybe settled for less in terms of money and all that stuff just because I can't believe my good fortune mm -hmm. to be able to actually have been able to do this. Mm -hmm. What about uh, the tools of the trade? What do you use? Do you use like a pen and paper? Do you use a... a messy notes. Messy mm. notes on, on, a, on a, a notebook and the computer. Right. And, um, and then, like I say, pretty soon, I haven't done it in a few years, I mm. haven't done any improvised writing. Am I going to give up that entirely or am I going to... You know, I'd love to work with a group again, improvising. Really? Sure. Interesting. Sure, which wow. I haven't in so long, mm -hmm. because that's also, um, you know, one person shows a certain kind of writing and it's a certain kind of relationship to the audience, but this, to be able to bounce off back and forth, right. I mean, that's a joy. When you've got people who really know what they're doing, mm -hmm. it's fabulous. Yeah. It's fabulous. Mm -hmm. So sometime I'm, I would like to see if there's a circumstance where I could work in a group and improvise and make sure that that other self is still alive and kicking. Mm -hmm.